A motivational speech in front of Keller High School students ended up getting the speaker fired. The district moved quickly after the motivating moved toward religion. Fox 4's Dion Anglin is in Keller with what was said and why the district did what it did. Dion. Yeah, that's right. The district says several students here were offended by the speaker's remarks. So that person who was uh, hired uh, through an outside company, an agency that provides uh, speakers, but apparently with all the outcry, uh, that person, it's cost that person their job. The assembly topic for Keller High School juniors was alleviating stress in students' lives. Ironically, though, it created some for the district. The hired speaker in front of a captive audience mentioned Jesus and expressed his own Christian beliefs, setting off a wave of controversy. No matter if you're Jewish, Catholic, Protestant, Muslim, it's a, a public school. You're saying leave it out? Yeah, leave it out. I'm not really particularly religious, but I don't think that people should really be offended by um, just mentions of any particular religion, really. Further uproar followed the principal's response, a letter apologizing to parents and an update on the apparent backlash for the speaker. In part, it says, the speaker in question is reportedly no longer employed with the company that sent him. Please accept my personal apology for this unexpected incident. Attorney Sean Brown has experience with education legal issues. She's not involved in the incident, but believes the school was proactive and acting responsibly with an apology. Because of the language that this speaker used and making references to Christian values, um, it could be perceived by a student that the school was somehow endorsing the language that the speaker used regarding religion and Christi Christian values. Meantime, parents keep up the debate. Jesus doesn't need to be in school. I mean, people go, and go to church to get their religion. I mean, it's okay. I believe it should be in school, you know. But, I mean, it shouldn't be forced on kids that don't believe in it. And I think everybody should have the opportunity to express themselves and express their religion. Taking God out of things is making a mess. I think it's good to have God. Now, the district points out it respects all faiths, but it must abide by rules that forbids it from asserting religious beliefs on its students. It's the latest live here. Steve, back to you. All right, Dan, I'm curious. The language, I don't know if it sounded bragging, but it sounded like validating. The speaker's been fired. Do we know anything about that and if the, the school actually had a hand in this person's employment with his employer? Yeah, the, the district was very careful in its wording. It basically, like you said, it pointed out that uh, the speaker is no longer employed with the company uh, that he worked for, but it doesn't say if it complained or if uh, the district recommended disciplinary action. Uh, it does, however, go on to say in the statement it gave us uh, today that the speaker clearly violated the agreed-upon expectations. Okay. Steve. All right, got it. Dion Anglin in Keller. Thank you.